Oh man, that intro is so corny. I thought it was so attention grabby, but nonetheless, you came here to learn how to make money very fast being a real estate agent. That's exactly what I'm going to teach you today. My name is Austin Harley. I'm a real estate broker now. I opened my brokerage up in 2020, but I was an agent for the past four years, made a ton of commission. If you don't know anything about me or my story, go ahead and check out this video up here. It's going to teach you a ton of hard learning lessons. And guys, at the end of the day, I just want to put this blanket statement out there that it's not all about the money. Yeah, I've met a ton of great people in real estate. I've developed a ton of awesome skills, including talking in front of a camera. You'd be surprised how hard that is to learn. <laughs> if you aren't a real estate agent but interested in getting a license, check out this video up here that I'm gonna link down in the description below. Without further ado, let's get 100% started in this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because there's gonna be a lot of detail in this video that you're gonna need to go back and reference and I promise you it's gonna be worth your while, plus it's free. So just Go ahead and do it and then we'll start the video. First thing you need to do to make money really fast in real estate is identify what type of clients that you can work with are. It's very simple actually. You have a buyer client that you can work with, you have a tenant client you can work with, you have a landlord client you can work with, or you have a seller. So there's four different types of clients you can work with, right? And what I want you to focus on or switch your mindset on to only perform money making activities or things that lead to money making activities. As we get down this funnel that I'm gonna teach you, you're gonna learn that a lot of this ends up being pretty much marketing because believe it or not, whether you like it or not, you're a marketer if you're a realtor. So that's not number one, to have money-making activities happen. So what the heck are money-making activities? Now, it, it's very simple. If you have those four different types of clients, buyers, landlords, sellers, and tenants, then money-making activities would be as follows, showing properties to either buyers or tenants or going on listing appointments for either sellers or landlords to make a commission. Those are the only two things money making activities are and you need to be doing those things every single week and every single month. If you win a listing appointment, that's a commission check. Same thing with tenants and landlords, just on a lower scale. And throughout this funnel, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to get to these two money making activities. So if we go down the funnel to kind of like the second stage in how to get there, we're gonna be led to meeting or talking with people, but not just people. We're gonna be meeting or talking with lead. And if you wanna put the word motivated in front of leads, that would be way better. And that's an extreme difference because there's a ton of people on YouTube, no offense, in their first or second year, but they're literally just telling you to go talk to people and tell everyone that you're a real estate agent. So I'm not gonna recommend that to you in this video. I would say that you need to talk to lead. So the key is how do you actually start talking with and meeting with those people to get to the money making activity? And it's very simple. I'm gonna share a few techniques with you that you've probably already Already heard before. The first one is going to be open houses. The second one is going to be phone calls from listings. The third one is going to be FISBOs or expired sellers. And the fourth one is going to be conversations with people on Facebook or motivated leads on Facebook. Now here's the deal and this is where I'm going to put a hard line on this. The next funnel stage is going to show you exactly how to get to those people, which means your week should look something like this. Saturday and Sunday should be full of an open house. Monday through Friday should be open on calls. Okay, now obviously this is boiled down to pretty much lead generation. And if I said it before in this channel, the number one way to make money in real estate is to be able to generate leads. So the four things I'm going to teach you to generate sellers and buyers are going to be Craigslist, open houses, for sale by owners and expireds, and you didn't guess it, bandit signs. Yeah, bandit signs. Because think about it, anyone crazy enough to call a bandit sign is probably going to be crazy enough to work with you, especially if it's your first year. <laughs> so uh, this is Marketing 101. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, we talked about open houses. Now, what is the correct way to getting in front of people so that you can call them back and ultimately start showing them property? So if you're lining up an open house, there's two things that you can do to stand far above every other real estate agent in your area. Uh, the first one is you can run a very, very basic Facebook ad to get people to to your open house. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you can completely skip that step. It's completely optional, but it's well worth the 10 to $15 to at least have someone that saw you online, got in their car, think about it, how motivated someone would have to be to get in their car, drive to your open house and meet you face to face and be like, oh, I saw you on Facebook, you're, you're famous. You're gonna become like a mini celebrity, it's awesome. Here are some key pointers to really start meeting with people and converting them in open house. Uh, the first one is you need to get all of the lights on in the house and you need to do your due diligence before you show up and show up early. 30 minutes to an hour early to the open house would be highly suggested. Know the layout of the house, know what you like, what you don't like. More importantly, because you want to be human with people, tell people that you don't like this or this about the house and ask for their feedback as well. And more importantly, understand what's going on in the market around you. So there's been a lot of videos about this, but to go further in depth, if you're just going to stand at an open house and ask people how they liked 
with it, they're never gonna work with you. You can get their information, call them as many times as you want, but if you teach them something that they don't know, they will stick with you because they're gonna remember you in the back of their head and when you call them or they see you on Facebook again through an advertising, they're gonna be like, I'm definitely working with that guy. Do your research of all the comps in the area, understand the school districts more importantly, and understand what the type of clientele is gonna be walking through your front door when you're doing an open house. If you're standing in a $1.5 million house, you're probably gonna have different clientele than if you're standing in a $300,000 townhouse. There's a difference between a second home buyer and a first time home buyer. I'm not gonna get into too much about scripting on this, but if you Google open house script as a realtor, you'll find something from Tom Ferry and I would highly suggest anything from him. Uh, but basically what you're trying to do is just like, hey, did you also check out this other home once you figure out what they're looking for generally? And they're gonna be like, no, I'll be like, oh, I can show you that house. So, you know, open house is closing in 20, 30 minutes. Do you have some time to spare? Easy way to just start meeting and talking with people. If not, always get their information, write it down on a piece of paper that you did. Don't use none of those fancy iPads where it allows people to type in false information. Physically write it down, look them in the eye, shake their hand, and just be a real estate professional. Okay, so we talked about open houses, which is a fantastic way to start meeting buyers. But now we're gonna talk about a little bit more tech savvy stuff, and that's gonna be Craigslist. So the type of leads that you can generate from Craigslist are gonna be renters, buyers and sellers. You can do everything and it's completely free. So we're not gonna talk too much about how to do it because I'd have to screen over in my computer and that would just make this video like 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm gonna link a video up here by Graham Stephan who is a fantastic real estate agent and now very successful YouTuber who you can trust and follow as my recommendation. But moving on to the seller lead portion of this is gonna be awesome. Now I'm eventually gonna come up with a video on this but essentially the concept is there's a lot of for sale by owner listings on the uh, for sale listing section in Craigslist. And what you can do is you can create a software to automatically email all of those sellers your information saying, hey, I'm a real estate agent with blah, blah, blah. I do listings for X amount. Just get straight to the point. Call me at this number. I'm interested in getting your house sold for you. I already have buyers lined up. Something of that sort. There's always gotta be like some, some type of hook to reel them in. But it's one way to get your phone ringing. For now, I will link down in the description the software that you can use. And moving on to the second way you can get sellers before we wrap up with the very fourth lead generation tactic it's going to be for sale by owners and expires now there's a ton of videos on YouTube very good ones are by Brian Casella and Tom Ferry but, but just understand this is a different type of marketing this is when you're cold calling to people to get them to use your services so you cold call for sale by owners there's no excuse why you can't just wake up one morning and start calling and executing money-making activities the next week or the next month following because the more people you fill in that funnel the more money-making activities you're gonna end up making. The same exact thing applies with expires. And to add one more added value to this video, I will leave the exact template script that I use down in the description below. I'm just gonna leave a literally written version of it. Honestly, the more phone calls you have, the more rejection you're gonna get, the tougher it's gonna make you, and the more success you're eventually gonna get. So record your phone conversations, listen to them, so you can get better and tweak every single thing that you can to start maximizing on those appointments. And my final and my favorite, I actually made $13,000 my very first year using this lead generation tactic, it's bandit sign. Ultimately, people that are gonna be calling you are gonna be interested in selling their house and think about it. If anyone's crazy enough to pull up to a stop sign and look at a bandit sign and call that number right on the spot, they're probably gonna end up working with you as long as you kill it in the listing appointment. Understand that you need to strategically place these bandit signs in a certain community and you can just plaster them throughout an entire neighborhood that's going to accept those type of signs. Remember, you're not probably gonna put them in like million dollar listings <laughs> areas or something like that. You're looking for like that sweet spot of listings where it's maybe a first time home seller you want to put them at stop signs so that when people stop, don't put them on like highways because nobody's going to be able to read it. But nonetheless, I made $13,000 off of a $250 investment. I'll link down in the description the site that I used as well as a screenshot. Okay, so we're getting near the end of this video. That was a ton of information I just threw at you. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can go back and reference this video, save it, do whatever you got to do because this is really valuable information. The biggest thing that I need to stress throughout this is it does take a lot of hard work, a lot of figuring out stuff. But once you get used to it, it starts to snowball and it's really not that hard. The coolest thing about all of these strategies that I taught you is they're all replicatable, if that's a word. <laughs> Meaning you can hire other people to do this stuff and really, really scale up to create a ton of commission, which is exactly what I did. So I think I've spoken enough in this entire video. If you have any questions about any of the lead generation tactics that I taught in this video, or just any questions about real estate in general, leave it down in the comment box and I will make sure to get back to you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next video.